Now on this one we're going to go progressive step further. Instead of putting a plug on top, we're going to cut all the way through. We're going to take and use our needle nose to go ahead and pull the tufts out, all the damaged area, and get about the size of maybe a quarter or something like that. We're going to go ahead and take and use our hot knife again to cut out our donor piece. We're also going to use our cool glide when we finish with this. And we're going to use a little bit of tape, the cool glide tape, as a foundation. Again, this is when you're on the top and you're working your way through and you don't want to disengage the carpet. So we're going to simply pull the bad tufts out, the damaged area, on any kind of a sad spot, whatever it may be, just simply pull out the parts that are bad. and you just determine how big of an area you want to get. I like to be oh somewhere about the size of a quarter or something like that. Make sure you get all the damaged area out. Make sure you don't leave any of the marked area, the bad area, the damaged area, whatever is there. Getting close. When I'm finished, I like to fold it back and see what might be in the way. Make sure I get everything I can out of the way. I don't want to leave anything frayed or damaged if I can possibly help it. I've got a pretty good size there. Here's all the pieces that I've pulled out. These are just trash, but you can see the tufts I've pulled out. Now what I'm going to do, very carefully, make sure I don't burn anything, I'm going to take my hot knife and cut through the primary and the secondary. It's going to allow me to come through here because this will burn through there very quickly and easily. Now I'll be sure I don't burn the tufts. You've got to be careful with that. And it's a good idea not to burn yourself. All right, I'm through. I like to use a little pick to move things many times. Now I've taken the bad area out. And now I'm going to take a small little piece of cool glide tape. And this is going to be my foundation I'm going to use. I'll take and put this underneath here. And make sure it covers the base. All right now I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to take a small donor piece. I'm going to use my hot knife. I'm going to try and duplicate what I've taken out. And just cut it. And if you want to use any kind of pattern, that's no problem. Now put this in and see how closely it fits. I can always trim it just a little bit if I need to. Looks like I need to trim it just a little bit. So we'll trim this back. And it looks like I'm very, very close to what I want to be. Just going to make sure.
looks just about right. All right, so I'm going to take just a little bit of glue, set underneath here, and I'm going to fill in just enough to fill that gap to hold everything in place. Again, just a little bit on here. And then I want to make sure this is into the area of the hole and matches the edges. I don't want to have it overlapped or over gapped in any way. So I'm going to take and press those edges down in there. I want it as smooth as I can get it. All right. I will roll it. Looks good. I'll take my cool glide. Plug that in. I'm going to put on transverse because I want a small little area. See if that will pick it up. Does an excellent job. It is on. As you can see, it does have enough to turn it on. And once it's finished, I'll roll that again. Make sure it's in. Put my weight on there for just a couple minutes. Now this will need to sit ideally for about five or ten minutes. At least 20 minutes if you're going to do any cleaning. But we've waited for just a moment here. We're going to go ahead and make sure it's the way it should be. I want to roll that. As you notice here, we have an excellent repair that you can't even see. This is well above our 60-80% improvement. Anyone would be happy with this. You can do this in the middle of a room. You can do it along the edges. Sometimes somebody spills something by a chair or by a desk. This is a place you can do these type of things.